I now pronounce the judgment of conviction against Rodarp Blagojevich. A dramatic chapter in Illinois politics comes to an end. Rod Blagojevich has been ousted as the state's governor. Wrapping up a four-day trial, the state Senate convicted Blagojevich Thursday without a single lawmaker coming to his defense. He's also been barred from ever holding public office in the state again. I think the governor has, has treated his office as a possession, and it's not a possession. It was, it, as, as indicated by the House prosecutor, it, it is a privilege, which he abused. The defiant Democrat is accused of trying to sell President Barack Obama's vacated U.S. Senate seat. Federal prosecutors have also said that he demanded campaign contributions in exchange for signing legislation. Blagojevich boycotted the first three days of his trial, claiming its rules were stacked against him. Instead, he spent the week making his case on several national television shows, including The View and Larry King Live. But Thursday, he showed up at the state capitol in a last-ditch effort to save his job. How can you throw a governor out of office who is clamoring and begging and pleading with you to give him a chance to bring witnesses in to prove his innocence? He left Springfield after delivering his plea, which was more than 45 minutes long. He spoke to a crowd of reporters and supporters gathered outside of his Chicago home moments after learning that his time as Illinois' leader was officially over. I love the people of Illinois today now more than I ever did before. And thank you. And the fight goes on. Just because I'm not governor anymore doesn't mean I'm not going to keep fighting for you and for the causes that I fought for my whole life. Blagojevich's lieutenant governor, Patrick Quinn, was promptly sworn in as Illinois' top official, and all signs of his controversial predecessor were quickly stripped away from the Capitol entrance and the state's website. Governor Quinn also canceled Blagojevich's security detail. So all of you have been asked to leave at this point? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you have. But you got orders to leave? <laughs> Man, we're, we're just, we're, we're taking off right now, that's all. The ousted governor's troubles aren't over. Federal prosecutors are drawing up an indictment against him on corruption charges. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.